Hello, my name is Tim Lees. Thank you for watching. Last night, right from the start, I knew I was bombing. <laughs> I sounded big and phony, real thee and thou. I just could not connect. I couldn't get a hold of it. And while I'm babbling, I look out, and there's this kid in the second row, 16, obviously dragged there, and he's yawning and jiggling his legs, reading his program, and I just want to say, hey, kid, I'm with you. I can't stand this stuff either. But I couldn't do that, so I just keep feeling worse and worse, just drowning. And I thought, okay, all my questions are answered. I'm not Hamlet. I'm no actor. What am I doing here? And then I get to the soliloquy. I'm right in the headlights. And I just thought, to hell with it. Just do it. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take up arms against a sea of troubles, and by opposing, end them. And I kept going. I finished the speech. And I look out, and there's that kid. And he's listening. The whole audience, complete silence, total focus. And I was Hamlet. And it lasted about 10 more seconds, and then I was in hell. But for that one little bit, for that one speech, I got it. I had it. <sighs> Hamlet. And only 8,000 more lines left to go. You're always sorry. You're always grateful. You're always wondering what might have been. And she walks in. And still you're sorry. And still you're grateful. And still you wonder. And still you doubt. And she goes out. Everything's different, nothing's changed, only maybe slightly rearranged. You're sorry, grateful, regretful, happy. Why look for answers when none occur? You always are what you always were which has nothing to do with, all to do with her.